Fake news is the new way that corrupt politicians, self-interested corporations, and the mainstream disinformation media attempt to deflect, deny, and bury any genuine accusations that have been made against them. Essentially, it is the new derogatory term for the so-called conspiracy theorist, whereby dying mainstream disinformation media institutions and disenfranchised political parties try to control the narrative that they want people to hear and to kill any real debate with individuals who have highlighted their flaws. The whole notion of fake news has a really strong Orwellian quality. It's pretty much the mainstream disinformation media institutions claiming that anyone with a differing point of view is simply just fake news and is worth no more investigation because these individuals haven't been verified by any government institutions, which we all know are so genuine and trustworthy and honest, right? And totally on the side of the people and the truth, right? This absolutely stinks of hypocrisy because the mainstream disinformation media supply nothing but fake news themselves. In 2001, on 9-11, who remembers the BBC reporting that Building 7 had collapsed 20 minutes before it actually collapsed? Even if somehow the official story of 9-11 could be believed, this report in itself is completely false. CNN, Fox, and the BBC made infinite numbers of claims in 2003 that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction, claims that turned out to be completely false. Where are the trustworthy government institutions to point out that these international news agencies are nothing but false news? Look at other obvious false flag events such as Orlando. As well as Nice and Munich in 2016 that the main proponents of the term fake news reported on as if they were real events. Once again, the mainstream disinformation media supply nothing but lies and fake news themselves, yet they accuse anyone else who disagrees with them as being sources of so-called fake news. Now, corrupt politicians such as Hillary Clinton and her campaign advisers, who have without doubt been involved in child sex trafficking and paedophilia, are claiming that these genuine allegations are nothing but so-called fake news. Anyone who has looked into the Podesta emails from WikiLeaks is extremely concerned. How are corrupt politicians allowed to deny these legitimate accusations so easily? Hillary Clinton's team have strong ties to occult practices with spirit cooking, as well as paedophilia and child sacrifice rituals associated with Pizzagate. Another cause for concern is the Clinton body count. also known as the Clinton Kill List. Over 60 people close to the Clintons have died in suspicious circumstances in the last 30 years. And as you can see, Google has tried to bury this as much as possible. Notable individuals that have been killed by the Clintons include John Ash, former United Nations General Assembly President. You can see this man, he looks like a pretty big guy. How did he die? He had his throat crushed. 2016, June 22nd. Does that seem normal to you? There are many other distinguished people here, such as the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jer Jeremy Burda, as well as Ron Brown, former Chairman of the DNC and Commerce Secretary, as well as many small people too. Eric Butera, just a witness, 1997. The list goes on and on and on, but you can look through this for yourself. Now these pure practices of evil have been dubbed so-called fake news. This is just ridiculous and beyond belief. Give me a break. How can these monsters dismiss these charges so easily? In conclusion, the term fake news is just a desperate attempt to censor and control what is on the internet and to influence what people will talk about in person. It is essentially the powers that be using every trick in the book they have to silence legitimate 
dissenting opinions, and to influence public opinion in favour of themselves. Thank you.